What's up, everybody? I'm Gary Alexander. Welcome to Fighters Only TV. I'm here with Ryan Bader. Ryan, Extreme Couture, not in Arizona right now. Tell me a little yeah. bit about what's going on. Yeah, I'm just mixing it up a bit. You know, I've, uh, I have my camp down at Power MMA, but, uh, you know, I, I need to branch out. I need to work with bigger guys, different guys. I need to get out of my comfort zone. So uh, I'm splitting time between both, and uh, I've been up here this whole week. Uh, you know, uh, working with different people, you know, working with Gil and, uh, and fixing some things and uh, going with bigger guys, different guys. And like I said, getting out of my comfort zone and it's exactly what I need. Um, let me ask you an important question about the Tito fight. Um, did you look, did you, did you overlook Tito? Did you look past him? Not at all. I, I respected Tito and, uh, you know, and I knew he's a competitor and I knew he was going to come in he back against the wall and he was going to go after it. And, uh, um, you know, it happens, MMA, you know, I, uh, um, you know, I was in there, didn't even know what happened, woke up in a guillotine, and uh, looking back on the tape, obviously, you can reassess everything, and uh, should have done this, should have done that, but, you know, I'm doing it now, I'm fixing all that stuff, and, uh, um, you know, I'm making a point to get better and to learn, and, you know, from, from those losses, and, and it just sucks, you know, I had a great camp, and I, I felt great, and, uh, yeah, but it happens. But I didn't underestimate Tito at all. You know, I, I thought it was going to be a tough fight no matter what. Um, you know, it's hard coming in that big of a favorite, you know, and then that happening. But, you know, I got to get over it and then uh, just get better and come back stronger. And uh, so I'm doing that. I'm, and, uh, you know, it's a week and a half out from the fight, and, you know, I'm here yeah. getting better. With Tito, were you more concerned about his wrestling, or were you more, or were you, were you thinking he was going to strike with you? What was what was the thought process going into that fight? Going into the fight, we thought he was going to come out pretty strong as far as you know boxing and uh, maybe throwing a few kicks, but um, we weren't really worried about the the wrestling part of it. You know, if he took me down, I'd get get back up, or I could stuff his shots. You know, and uh, uh, we were kind of looking uh, to box with him and uh, to land some good shots and mix that up with the takedowns. Um, but we thought he was going to come out. Um, like he did in his last couple of fights with, you know, with uh, Hamill and all that, the first minute or so real hard. But, uh, you know, uh, he, he didn't really do that. He kind of waited back and then he just like came up underneath and, you know, caught me and it happens. And, uh, uh, you know, congratulations to him. Right. And uh, he fought a great fight. And, you know, that it, it's, it happens. It's, it's, a, it's a crazy sport. When you think, a lot of wrestlers that I talk to have that mentality of uh, once they do suffer a loss, that that work ethic comes in and they're immediate, almost everyone I've ever talked to are almost immediately in the gym. Once they're healthy enough to get back in yeah. there, they're immediately in the gym. Were you like that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, like I was saying, you get a loss, you want to be right back in there next weekend. It, you know, pisses you off and uh, it's in your head the whole time. And uh, yeah, you know, I couldn't sleep, you know, because it sucks, you know, just a loss in general, but going somewhere you're supposed to win and, and, uh, and yeah, so I'm back in the gym, and, and uh, like I said, I, I drove up to Vegas this week, and I'm working with um, some different people, and, mm -hmm. and and working on some things that I need to work on. So I'm right back at it, and I'm right. It it, it was maybe a blessing in disguise because it got me out of. If I would have won, I would have been doing the same thing in my, you know, not really getting out of my com comfort zone, not really branching out and uh, and. Uh, going with new guys, seeing new looks and all that. So, you know, who knows? This might be better for my career than, than a, a win ever was. So we'll see. But uh, I just look forward to my next fight. I look forward to seeing you get in there again, man. It was, it was. I mean, the build up to the fight was great. I yeah. thought, that, I thought there was a great storyline behind it. Obviously, you yeah. came down on the on the the, uh, the wrong side of that thing, but yeah. but um, you're here. I, I watched you train a little bit today. Obviously, we didn't show that on camera, yeah. but watching you train, and I know that uh, you're kind of you got a bit of a drive behind you. So that's a good thing. Oh yeah, you know, a loss really motivates you, and uh, um, I'm motivated, and it, it gave me the motivation to branch out, to to work harder, to get right back in the gym, to learn some new stuff, go with some new people. So. That's what I'm doing, and uh, I, it gives me just a, it just reinvigorated me to, you know, put everything aside and get better and learn and do some new stuff. Perfect, perfect. Ryan Bader, Fighters Only TV. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you.